have you ever felt worn out about your life? Are you capable of understanding that someone tireless? Hi, I'm Pastor John Hinges. Today, I talk about the tireless God. It's undeniable the fact so many times we feel worn out, thanks to different challenges and also several ventures that frighten us and also drain us a lot. We look for a superhero desperate who's capable of taking us out from monotony that makes us feel useless and at the same time triggers upon us state monotone and mental tiredness. Seriously, we need to escape from this depressive status because we struggle to reach many things but that looks unreachable and almost impossible carry we out. This is the part where appears on the scene our incomparable superhero called Lord of the Armies. Let's prove it in the book of Isaiah chapter 40 verse 28 through 31. This argument explained by prophet Isaiah is absolutely gripping and also unbreakable early. Because of this, side and strength us and release our emotional grief and mental dissolution. It's wonderful rely on the most powerful, almighty, and lovely God side us defending our cause, besides filling our voice and complete the daily task we can finish by our lack of proficiency or inexperience. The prophet Isaiah described perfectly the God's gears in this quote. For example, let's look at the chapter 40, verse 12 and 15 and 17. Realize the prophet encourages us trust in God for not be state as Israel did, where they trusted pagan idols, profaning their covenant with God. Furthermore, they became idolatrous, defying and tempting the God's mercy and his patience. They thought God had tired, and they considered God's sort of capability to solve their problem and help them about their necessities. Doesn't matter why Isaiah took the subject as the main concern into people of God in talking about idolatry. This sin in Israel turned the root of all evils along the Hebrews history and their Samaritanist judgment from God. The prophet Isaiah continues testifying that it's impossible to impure God with any idol. Plus, condemn the idolatrous practice. That's the reason why in the verse 18, 21, and 22 of the same chapter 40 in the book of Isaiah. He regards about this. You can get it. This prophet gives the same hard message and also he looked blunt before the people. Nonetheless, he was looking for Israel to come back to the beginning and reject any profane misbehavior and keep in mind the covenant with the Almighty, the ambition of the present, of the potent, or power for God. The prophet Keys impressed me when he described how God sees onto the circle of the earth. We must remember this prophecy comes from 700 years before Christ, explaining that this planet was semi-round, as it is actually. However, the mankind just discovered little over 400 years ago. The earth is semi-round and also it moved around the sun by Galileo Galilei's theory. I mean, we lost 2300 years because we didn't realize nor inquired the Bibles that also spoke about the 
constellation of the stars, as it was Orion and the Pleiades by the Jazz Revelation. Both Isaiah and Jot influenced the capability of God to solve any catastrophic situation and bad enforcing. Record that never tired, never burn out, and the most important thing is he never regrets for helping us at any time. Thank you for watching. May this thought bless your life as mine already. God bless you. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, leave your comments, and like it.